Hey everybody, Milby here in the spookiest town in the world, Lambda Town. Oh, ghosts. Ghosts and spooky stuff. Do you believe in ghosts? No, I guess not. Is that why you're hunting your shoulder? I'm just imagining it. <gasps> when I was a kid, I actually turned around when they did that. It spooked me out. It freaked me out. This place is freaky. I don't like this town. Can you imagine living in this? It seems like the most depressing town to live in in the Pokemon world. Hey, do you want to live in this town where the, everyone comes to mourn their dead Pokemon? Also, when do Pokemon die? Do they just die of old age? Do Pokemon age and get, like, old? You never see, like, old Pokemon. Like, an old Mr. Mime with, like, gray hair. And he's like, hey, Mr. Mime! Wow. That was the most depressing. Wow. <laughs> That was the most depressing uh, TM I've ever been given. Oh my god, I'm fighting a... Oh, this is perfect. I wanted to find some dudes to work my Voltorb up on. This is perfect for me. I can go and beat up a bunch of water boys. I'm gonna kill your Pokemon and send them to Pokemon Tower. It's a good thing Pokemon Tower's over there, buddy, because I'm about to murder you. Your Goldie, that is. I do not want a guy. I do not. Oh, Jesus. That move and that name, not good. I am on an absolute tear right now. I'm just taking Jonah Hill, and we are just smashing through Fisher Boys. They're just sitting there enjoying their little fish, and I'm just running down. I'm like, ah, 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 I'm Jonah Hill. Lightning right in their face. I'm like a lunatic. They probably they probably just like cower when they see me coming. They can't handle it. Jonah Hill's now about to tear through four Pokemon in a row, probably. Unless one of these is not uh, for some reason they don't have a, a water Pokemon. Do you know what I love in this game, in this Pokemon world, I should say, is that you can always tell what kind of person like Pokemon a person's gonna have based on how they dress or their occupation, basically. <laughs> it's like, oh man, you know, uh, I'm a swimmer, so I only use water Pokemon. Really? You don't, you don't think maybe you should, like, uh, be a, uh, a swimmer who, like, maybe has a water Pokemon, but uh, mainly uses, like, I don't know, electric Pokemon to just kind of throw your opponents off? They see a swimmer come up, and they're like, oh, I know what he's going to use, and he pulls out an electric Pokemon, or, like, a rock Pokemon, or, like, a ground Pokemon, or something like that, and they're like, whoa! That's, uh, that's... I wasn't expecting that. You really threw me off there. You weren't... You were dressed to differently to the Pokemon that you use, and that, uh, that confused me. If I win, I'm going to propose to Gear. Who? Is that girl's name Gear? Young couple Gear and Jez would like to battle. Oh, it's a double fight. Oh, they didn't realize they had that in this. Um... We could probably have a go with this one. Hyper Fang, that one. Yeah, Hyper Fang is a pretty damn good move. Oh no, the Poison Point. I almost forgot about that. Man, I totally forgot double battles were a thing in this game. Huh. No, look, you don't need to poison the guy who's already poisoned, right? You're just double poisoning him. That's just me. Yeah, he's already dead anyway. <laughs> Stop it, he's already dead! Oh, that's cool. When were uh, double fights first introduced? I, I, I feel like it was in the third generation. Why could you let us win? Sorry, man. Jess, you silly, you ruined this. Oh, Gia, forgive me, my love. Uh, I feel like I may have just uh, caused them to get a divorce. Or break up, I mean. Okay, so I can't get down. This stupid Snorlax is blocking me in every direction. Can I get back to town before you die of poison? It's not that I don't have an antidote, it's just that I'm, um... I'm tight, and I'd rather take him just back and use the Poker Center than <laughs> spend an antidote on him, which sounds so bad. I'd rather risk letting you die. 
than spending an antidote on you. Route 8. Have we been to Route 8 yet? What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Uh, there's a quiz. There's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon. Is it Jigglypuff? A Clefairy. It's not really round. But... Uh, it's actually quite round, now I look at it. It's rounder than I thought it was. I really thought she was going to have a Jigglypuff. She kind of... She kind of baited me then. I'm not happy about that. Stop! Don't be so mean to Michael Fairy. How about next time, you don't bait me into thinking it's a Jigglypuff, right? A <laughs> rambling gaming dude. <laughs> he's a randy gaming dude. No, he's a rambling gaming dude. Don't be foul. This poor Grimer doesn't know what he's about to get into. I'm about to use magnitude on him. He's about to go a boom. My Dean Norris is just. This guy had a Grimer, a Muck, and a Grimer. And they all fell. They're all dead. And they're all over in, in Pokemon Tower now. And this guy is crying. He was a super nerd. It's not logical. <laughs> it's very logical. You used a type that is just not very good. We're, we're letting him Dean Norris evolve into the triple penis. Because uh, I found in general in uh, when it comes to Nuzlocks, letting them evolve sooner rather than later is mostly good. Um... Unless there's a particular move you really want them to learn soon, or they don't learn when, unless they're in their, um, their first ev ev evolution, then I think it's usually better to let them evolve and get the sort of stats and stuff they, they, they want to learn otherwise. Twin power is fantastic, did you know? We're getting into double fights now. Oh, twins. Twins Ellie and Anne. Clefairy and Jigglypuff. The most adorable duo. Ever. All right, you are getting switched out with. Uh, I don't know, actually. You seem to be okay. You could probably hold your own. You charge up. You hyper fang, and you'll probably. I mean, Tom Cruise will probably have killed them both before you actually get to use any moves. Hey, maybe not. Maybe not. You're gonna use that on Jigglypuff, and Tom Cruise is gonna take out the fairy. Fairy's flinching. Jigglypuff should defense curl. That might make um, it a little bit more rough and tumble. But there you go. You can use Spark on the Jigs. Don't use it on Tom Cruise. That doesn't make any sense. And you can Quick Attack the Fairy. Use Follow Me. I don't know what that even means. Oh, oh, I finally get it. That uh, that works in these double fights. Sure. He's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god. <laughs> the Charge and the Spark was just too powerful a combination to overcome. But we used our twin wonder twin powers. No. Now I haven't been to Route 8 yet, so I should. Oh my god, that is a lot of battling people in row. Is that guy a bad guy? What is happening here? There's so many dudes around here. It's time for our first battle as the new and improved Triple Dean Norris. Uh, you can't handle the Dean. Right, so we can't go out that way. So we have to, right, I guess we can fight the people. This is, goes to Saladon City, uh, that's where the next gym is. But I guess we want to go to the Ghost Tower. I don't know why we want to go to Ghost Tower, but we're going to go to Ghost Tower. We're just going to fight a couple of people around here, and then we'll go to Ghost Tower. Oh my god, Biker Jaren. Why is he riding that just a bike back and forth around here? That's terrifying. He's just like... This guy is a menace. I gotta get this guy off the streets before he, he hits somebody. I'm gonna clean up this town. My way. Alright, we're going into Ghost Tower. And uh, I'm bringing my boy Ozzy Osbourne with me. You might wonder why are you, you're like, why are you bringing Ozzy Osbourne? Because I want someone that won't immediately kill the ghost Pokemon in there. Because <laughs> I want to catch one. Because I think it'd be nice to have a ghosty. Um... I think if I remember rightly... Oh, wait, no, I'm going to need... Hang on. I think I might need Voltal. I think if I remember rightly, they, uh, isn't, isn't isn't Hate Boy in that power? And I remember he has the bird Pokemon, so I'm going to need to get Voltal about. And we'll replace... Uh... You know what? We'll get... We'll come back. We'll do what we'll do. That's what we'll do. We'll beat Hate Boy first. Pretty sure there's a Hate Boy. 
I can't remember this. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll bring Zuby with us. There he is. Hey, boy. What brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive. At least I can make him faint. Let's go. What a dick. What a gigantic dick. Oh, God, I hate this guy so much. All right, you're going down now. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. Should have had him out in the first place. I knew he had a I knew he had a Pidgeot. Here. All right, one down. All right, I see you guy there. I see you little guy. I'm about to spark you out. Bring it on, Gyarados. I didn't know he had a Gyarados, and now Gyarados is dead. That's a lot of experience. God damn. Ooh, okay. I think that's grass and poison. All right, that means uh, I. You could, you could do it actually. You can take on grass pretty good. Let's get the Broadsmeister to get some going on. Don't you dare put me to sleep. Son of a bitch. Super effective, but I didn't kill him. Down for the count. Who's next? Who you got? Come on, bring it on, baby. Kadabra. Oh, did I give away Bug Boy? I did, didn't I? No, I didn't. No. I never give away Bug Boy. Why would I do that? I mean, yeah, okay, there's a risk in that he's half poison, but... You know what? We're just going out of it. You better not kill my goddamn... If you kill Stryzen, that would be really upset. He's my, Stryzen B is my psychic killer, but he's also incredibly weak to psychic. <laughs> so, it's a bit of, it's got a bit of both in there, really. Half and half, can, you know, can do pretty damn good against it. We'll also get your ass kicked by it. And we don't want you fighting, because you are terrible against him. Uh, Dean Norris should be able to make short work of uh, Charmeleon. There you go. Stupid dude set me on fire. It took me ages to get that bloody attack off because of those stupid smoke screens he threw on me. I actually have, like, this next gym is going to be so... It's going to be it's gonna be a piss. Because I have both Dean Norris and I've got Drowsy, and they're both going to trash those boys. Because she's all about them poison. Oh, wait, no. Is that the next guy's about poison? Oh, wait. Is Erica about grass? Oh. Oh no, do I have a killer then? Oh, I've got flying. Maybe I should train up uh, Will Arnett a bit more, actually. Just occurred to me that I can't actually go to Pokemon Tower yet, can I? I have to go to Celadon City. And I have to deal with the Team Rocket people, then go into the tower. Go to the top, save Mr. Fuji, who gives me the whistle, who I used to Snorlax. Boom. I read a lot of that, but uh, <laughs> I was a bit confused. I was like, where do I... I don't know where to go now. I'm a, I'm a bit lost. I don't really need all the other ball now, do I? Oh, no, wait. I can get Pokemon from by here. We need to get a new Pokemon. Who's it going to be? Oh, oh, we already had a Meowth, didn't we? He died. I was going to say, like, we got a Meowth. We had one, and he died, so we're not going to get that one either. Oh, oh my god, it's a Growlithe! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I love Growlithe. Um, right, Ozzy Osbourne might die whilst trying to capture Growlithe to a fire move, but hopefully it won't. I love, oh my god, oh my god, I love Growlithe. Oh my god, a fire type. I really need a fire type. <laughs> oh, okay, this is fantastic. Um... I don't think fire kills dark. Okay, dark does not kill fire, so we should be okay on that one. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Just keep biting him. You can be keeping him flinch. I don't mind. What are you doing? Okay, fine. Uh... <gasps> no! Well, that's annoying. <laughs> I don't know Roll would make it leave. I thought I'd just switch out my Pokemon in the fight. Oh, should have put him to sleep immediately. 
All right, we need to take the underground path over to Seldon City now. Oh, yeah, Seldon City's got a big old shop in it, hasn't it? Oh, I love Seldon City. What you got? A sleeping Pokemon appeared on out near Seldon City, too. Man, it's an epidemic of sleeping Pokemon. Route 7. Have we been to Route 7? I can't tell which routes we have and haven't stepped on now. Is that also Route 7 over there? We got a Team Rocket's way. Oh no, evil feisty boys are here. Wow, rude. I look, I'm just here for the gym, alright? I don't I don't want to deal with any of this. Aha, gym. Yeah, this gym is great, it's full of women. <laughs> classy man, classy man, alright. We're gonna be dealing with a couple of guys and gals in this one. Uh they you no, you're not going to be much use. You you free will be all useful, because poison is actually good against grass. Poison, flying, bug. Oh, bug's good as well. Really? Huh. Fire. We see, now, I really wish we'd caught Growlithe, but, well. Only real ladies are allowed in here? I'm a real lady. How dare you say that to me? You're obviously going to get destroyed. Oh, I hope so. God, I, I hope you do get destroyed. Don't poison me, please. Oh, wind. God damn it. Is that... I keep thinking whirlwind is a wind move, but it's a goddamn move that moves them around. All right, Will on that. I think you might have to come back a little bit. You're, uh, you took quite a beating from that one. You did get a level up, though, so that's good. You gotta level up out of it, uh, but you need uh, you need to come back in because this bell sprout is too big for you. This rowdy boy will take you down. Um, how about you? Nah, nah, mate. Come on, twin needle. Look at this. Ready? Bellissimo. Is bell sprout part poison? A lot of the grass types in this are also poison. There's a lot of, like, cross types in this. They were, like, half one, half another. I can't remember if that's super effective or not, though. I know it's super effective against grass. I just don't remember if Bell's Road Pop Poison Muscle. You're too rough. You're too weak. Oh, my lady. Hello. Beauty Bridget. Beauty Bridget is here. With her Irish. Anytime, Beauty Bridget. Here I am. Will Arnett is, to, is here to seduce the Beauty Bridget. His gusts. Eh. You could be doing a lot better. And hopefully, after taking on a couple guys in this gym, you will be doing better. I'm sorry, Beauty Bidget. Sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm socially inadequate. I don't really know how to deal with beautiful people. I just start fighting them. I'm like, hey, you're really pretty. And I just fight them. I don't hit them. I just fight them. It gets really serious. A lot of, lot of jail time. Who is this? Cool Trainer Mary. Cool Trainer. She is pretty cool. I'll give her that. I'm I'm pretty bowled over by how cool she is. If I can deal with the cool levels here, I might have to uh, retreat. Don't stun him. Just look. I'm all I'm gonna do is use Gust like this whole match. So it's, this all this is gonna be. I'm just letting you know now. Did exactly what I said I would do, and I used Gust the entire time. And we are here against Ivysaur. And, uh, here we are. We're pretty... Oh, God. You know what? All right. This... Fine. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Fine. Hey, Jim Brody, come out. Come out of your hiding in your shell. Let's stop letting Will Arnett deal with all the fights. It's time for you to get going. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys? My hobby is Pokemon training. I feel like that's everybody's hobby in this. Everybody's hobby is Pokemon training. You're no special beauty. You may be a beauty, okay, but you're not special. Your looks will not get you that far. They may, they, you know what, maybe they will. No, I'm lying. They will. They'll take you miles. We don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. Last time we let a fire type in here, it burned down the whole goddamn building. Alright, we're about to fight uh, the lady herself. And I think 
We're gonna let Streisand B take the lead on this one. Because uh, this would be a good chance for, uh, for her to get some nice levels going on. So those off welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Seldon City Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. Okay. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wish to challenge me. Very well. Really? Come on. Look at me. I'm ready and willing. Let's go, Erica. I'm ready. I've been training my whole life for this one. Streisand, do your thing. Don't die. Oh my god, that did nothing. What? What is this? What is this? I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna lay the smack down on these people. I did zero. I did less than zero. God damn, this victory bell is resistant. Oh no, not the stun spores. Ah, oh, God. Um. I'll use Paralyze Heal if I need to, but I'm hoping this doesn't... I want... I really... Oh, God. It may not be very effective, but uh, it certainly hit me very hard. Okay, well, I mean... Well done. You, you, you gave it your best shot, I guess, Dryzen. That's, that's all we can really say. See, that's how it's done. Adrian Brody showing everybody how it's supposed to be done. Balain the small. Oh, you got a level up, so that's good. I was kind of hoping you could get more levels up, but that's fine. Anyway, Adrian Brody will probably just clean house now. Probably. I don't know. They might not. You never know. The gym, lead the gym leaders for a reason. They're there to, you know, put you down. And fortunately... That does not appear to be the case here. Yep, Agent Brody is now level 27. And a vile plume. Beautiful. Alright, let's let's clean up this mess. One more aerial ace and it's all over. Yep, this is over. This is not really much of a fight. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm just mostly just sad for uh, Streisand. I really thought I really thought she'd come into her own here. But, uh, no. Rainbow badge, thank you, and all that money. You're really kind. Rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey you. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. What's this one do? Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, here we go. Still looking in there, gold guy? Yeah, I love this gem. Mm. Creepy. And there we go. We have another gym under the belt. I'm pretty happy with that one. So, uh, I guess that's it then. Um, I think, yeah, I think that'll be it for me. I, I don't know how long this is. Like I said, I'm not really timing these episodes. I'm just kind of recording them until I feel like they've come to a, a good a good point to close it off. So next time we'll be dealing with, uh, I guess, Team Rocket and their base. I think that will come next. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what comes next. And uh, yeah, and those guys mostly use poison, so obviously we're going to need to have our best poison kills out. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll also look around town, and, uh, we're right here from the Fuchsia? It's an uphill ride on Cycling Road. Oh, I need to get a bike that doesn't cost me a million money. That'd be really nice. You know that! I didn't know that. <laughs> thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time for more A Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge.